You want to work with the Lord? Hey, brother. Okay, this is Paul. Hey, Paul. I, can I talk to you again? I was going to ask you, how does uh, Brother Marty get around the Great Commission? I know you said you have, uh, it don't, doesn't matter if, whether it's in the name of Jesus or the <coughs> Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, with the Great Commission and the, and the uh, <coughs> Gospels. How does he get around that where, uh, you know, Christ says, does baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? Does he say that, is it after something that Christ has died, or is it a distinction between uh, just having to say that name, or how does he get around <coughs> that part? Well, I love um, the show, and I agree with you, but how does, how does he get around that part? Um, I could probably play play him. I would have to find it, but I could probably play him stating it uh, in his own words, but I'll try to paraphrase it. it the idea of Matthew 28, 19, and, and uh, Matthew 28, 19, Marty would say that Jesus's, that Jesus' command was to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And he will say that the name is singular, therefore... When you get to the New Testament, you find individuals baptizing in the name of Jesus. But the but the problem is not really in the name being singular or not. The problem is Marty's belief, and I say Marty's, I'm saying apostolic, I should say apostolic doctrine or Pentecostal doctrine, oneness doctrine, that the, the, the problem is the belief that doing something in the name of is equal to saying it. You see? If yeah. he was consistent, and this is another one of those inconsistencies, if he was consistent uh, with his doctrine of in the name of equaling saying, then he would have to say that Jesus was telling them to say Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Does that make sense? You follow that? Yeah, but it don't make sense on his part, though, on how he's right. around that. That's right. Because... I mean, his statement is, in the name of Jesus means you say Jesus. Well, if I look at Matthew 28, 19, and use his logic, I would have to say, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost means saying Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Right, I agree but with But he you, just doesn't do that, there. and it gets back to, he's trying to remove the Godhead, three persons of the Godhead, and he wants one. He wants Jesus. And, and which that is hopefully will be our next discussion if he wants to come on. Yeah, I'd like to see him on that again. Thank you, brother. All right. Thanks for your call.